Okay, so um, everyone, welcome to the session on writing techniques. And um, I, while I was checking the participants, I saw that uh, most of you are familiar. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, I would like to welcome every one of you, but uh, those of you who joined me on the earlier session, um, the earlier session that we did on grammar, you know uh, normally that I prefer to have a very interactive session. So again, I would like to remind all the participants today as well, I have a couple of uh, fun activities lined up and a lot of important information, techniques, shortcuts, strategies, tips lined up for you. So let's make today's session also a very, very productive, very interactive and interesting session, right? So I'm inviting everyone to be online and also to have pen and paper with you. And today, especially, I would need you to use your mobile phone. Um, so I don't know like how you're logging into the session, but I do have a few... Um, games lined up online quizzes and games so let's see whether it kind of works out okay because i don't know since uh, you know sometimes the technology is not 100 um, percent foolproof so anyway let's look forward to all of that so if you don't have your mobile phone with you um, or if you are just logging through your mobile phone and if you have the facility to join through a laptop, I think today's session will be more interesting to all of you, right? So my first request is for you to go and get your laptop and the mobile phone ready, plus have a notebook with you, uh, pens and the other necessary stuff, right? So um, again, I'm just repeating until you go and get yourselves ready, get the necessary um, equipments and tools. I'm just reminding everyone, um, just, may, just to be interactive and to be logged into the session throughout and don't just leave it on recording and go somewhere, right? So ask me questions, tell me your answers, and let's have a little fun. Plus, we will learn a lot about writing techniques, right? Um, uh, one more thing, everyone, I'm just having a lot of rain here. So if there is any issue with my audio, please do drop me a message and let me know. Right. Um, okay. So uh, if we turn to the session and the topic today, uh, today's topic is very closely connected to what we did previously, the grammar. Right. So today we will uh, specifically talk about writing techniques. And I have made this session very customized and specially suitable for all of you. Right. Because when we say uh, writing techniques, there are large numbers of writing techniques. There are so many writing techniques and, you know, uh, not everything is suitable for finance and accounting uh, professionals and students. So I have made special effort today to make it more customable, customized. And, and uh, because I have had some experience over the years working with all of you, I think I have a fairly... Uh, good knowledge about what type of writing you need to produce for your workplace and for CA. So I have tried to kind of make it uh, very important information, strategies, tips um, for especially uh, finance, accounting, management students, right? So as always, I'm just uh, saying that all of you need to be connected, all of you need to be participating, everyone needs to engage and do the activities with me uh, so that we all can have a little fun and enjoy the session. Right, so let's jump in. Right, I'm going to share with you the session objectives. So as I said before, we will talk about uh, obviously what is effective writing because I think a lot of students and a lot of people 
they don't understand what is good writing and what is bad writing you know because number one reason is i think a lot of people are um not very good with their reading skills so at the beginning of the session i would like to um inform all of you right i would like to educate all of you that if you feel that you are not a very good writer probably you need to improve your reading skills also right so reading is very closely connected to your writing and nowadays we see that a lot of people are not reading properly in english so this has led to a lot of problems uh, in terms of their academic writing skills okay because when you write a document as a professional as a student people don't expect you to write spoken language okay but that is exactly what's happening now a lot of people are writing in spoken language okay so the standards of writing has gone down so first of all our objective is to identify good writing bad writing and to discuss what is writing and then we will talk about the importance of developing your writing for your career we will talk about um, how finance professionals engage in writing so as always i i always bring a little bit of industry statistics and data for you so we'll look at some of that and then we will also look at the different types of writing uh, we will look at a three step model right so today the highlight of the session is i am going to give you my three step model uh, in professional writing so stay tuned for that you need to wait till the end of the session to cover all of these so as always i tell you don't log out and leave the room okay because the important parts are anyway towards the end of the session right and apart from these of course we will do some fun games and quizzes and uh, hopefully the technology will work right okay so if any of you have any issues or any problems please do interact with me send me a chat if you are shy to use your microphone you are always welcome to use your chat function and um, discuss things with me because i think uh, you know ca is giving you all of these uh, sessions so that you develop and become better communicators right so use the opportunity and enjoy right okay as always i start my sessions with a activity so let's jump to our activity right the very first activity we are going to do so hope everyone's ready now i hope you have your pen and papers i hope you have your laptops i hope you have your phones if those are available right okay so the very first activity is i'm going to give all of you two minutes right and you need to tell me in one sentence what these pie charts are telling you what can you understand from the following pie charts okay ready everyone i'm giving only 2 minutes right so here's the, here are the pie charts study them carefully okay write one sentence in your chat and send that to me within the next 2 minutes okay i want everyone to do this without fail okay so let's start because uh, as you know i just want to see whether all of you are connected i want to see whether your chat is working i want to see whether you are listening to me okay so first activity 2 minutes what can you understand from these pie charts what is the main message
Okay, very good observation, Nizar. Right, I'm very happy you understood it. Uh, but please do tell me in one sentence what do you think these two pie charts are telling you about, um, so that everyone understands it. Right. Okay, yeah, Prajeevan, your answer is very true, but can you be, uh, can you give me a bit more detail, right? What exactly are these two pie charts talking about? You have given um, the topic, but there's a bigger message here. So can you also tell me that part? Okay, very good. Uh, so I'm reading Isuru's answer. Very good answer. Right, I want all the others as well. Please write one sentence explaining what these pie charts are telling you about. It's a very simple thing for all of you, right? Because you all study a lot of charts and graphs, right? So do tell me in one sentence, what do you understand from these pie charts? Okay, so um, another little request, everyone. I want you to please check your name, okay? And insert a proper name for yourself because otherwise I don't know who is sending the answers. So can you try and change and add your names properly? Right, very good answer, Deshani. Uh, you have interpreted the graph, graphs very well. Others, can all of you very quickly hurry up and send me the answers? It's a very simple activity, but it shows how many people can understand a graph, understand a message, and also translate that into good writing, okay? Because we are today talking about writing skills. So everyone's showing me whether you have the ability to write one sentence correctly, okay? Okay, Jeevanti, you have given a good answer, but what is the most important message, right? It's, it's about some change. What, what is the change that has happened? Don't just give me the title, okay? Okay, very good. Good answer from uh, Tenuka. I would like you to clarify it a little bit more, Tenuka, because the change is not very clear, right? You're giving the topic that is true, but what is the change? Uh, Jeevantika, the same Jeevantika, okay? So even from a simple activity like this, we can see how many of you already have good writing skills and how many of you need to develop your writing skills, right? Because now see, a lot of you are giving me general answers. Very few of you have captured the correct change here, okay? So you have to ask yourself a question, why are two pie charts given here, no? 
why are two pie charts given obviously because you have to look at the change so what is happening explain that clearly don't say it's about past and the future that is general writing okay Okay, very good. Uh, Arindu's answer is correct. You have captured the change correctly. Yes, Kumudu has given the correct answer. I think I spoke about uh, Keshala's answer. No? So that's a very good answer, Keshala. Very clearly uh, explained. So... Kumudu given good answer. Yeah, very good answer, Abhishek. Uh, Kalpani, you have to tell me exactly what is happening here. You have only given the title or the topic. Johan, can you explain what you mean? I don't understand your answer, okay? So I want Johan to look at your answer again. Uh, it's not clear. So these are the problem areas, right? You might write something and send it to someone, but the other person doesn't understand it. So check answers before you send it. Yeah, Tenupa, very good dance. I think I told about that, right? So anyway, uh, I think a lot of other people have to respond to me. Um, yeah, very good. Vishaka has also correctly given the trend here. Okay. So, right. So just to save a little time, I want everyone to keep on sending me your answers, right? Just write one sentence and make sure that you capture the exact message uh, in these two pie charts, right? Now you saw how many people need to upgrade their writing skills. Ne? In your mind, you might think, ah, I can already write. But are you writing effectively in English language? Okay. So that is why this session is so valuable to all of you. So uh, everyone needs to write in a clear, concise manner. If your writing is not clear, if your writing is long but doesn't contain the main message, these are the signs of bad writing. Okay. So what is the correct answer here? What do these pie charts tell you about the future of your careers right now this is not coming from me some of you might have been more intelligent to check the source i have given the source here right so this is this information is coming from the american institute of certified public accountants right so obviously you can understand that they have a very important study on this Right, so the main message with, uh, that is indicated from these two graphs is that even though, right, even though uh, accountants, finance professionals had to rely a lot on their professional knowledge, and other skills were uh, uh, fairly uh, comparatively less useful in the few, uh, they have identified very clear very clearly that the professionals in the future will need a balance in all the skills so you must have noted if you studied the graphs carefully you must have noted that the checkers indicate the communication skills 
right? Or in other words, the small um, squares, two pie charts actually talk about communication skills and your writing skills. So in the past, your communication skills were needed very little for accountants, managers, finance professionals, right? But what is the prediction in the future? You will need communication skills to the same level that you will need your professional or technical knowledge. Okay, so just check your answers, everyone. Everyone who sent me um, your sentences, you can very easily check, right? Now, there were a lot of you who just were these pie charts indicate the skill levels in the past and the future, right? Uh, they are talking about the change in uh, skill levels or uh, uh, various skills they need in the future. Because those are very unclear writing. But some of you were actually capable enough to capture the correct message, right? So now, do all of you understand how a very small activity like this one tells other people whether you're a good writer or a bad writer in the English language, right? Sandhya, I would like you to reevaluate your answer, right? Uh, did you understand the pie charts correctly, right? Think about it. I just explained the meaning. So the main message here is not about uh, changing from one level to other level. It's about the same skills are needed, but from proportions, right? So, is there a CP connector, CPA connector, Avashavela Tibuni, Vadipuruma professional skills, Unata, Anagate, the professional skills, Pamanakimi, Anit, Hammer skill, like Akma, Samana Mataming Avashai Kienika, Ogalangi Uttare, Tiana Madanatha, right? When a when a deva Liela Vedak. When a when a Katandra Liela Vedakne, a a day, a day hurry at a Lia Villa Tiena. Nadira, good effort, Nadira, right? But there are many mistakes in your writing. Grammar, where the Oyaliana Hadana de Adahasa Vikurti, I think Ekanisa, good luck practice Kana, then other session Nika Meva Gay, Hamotum Hunda. So listen carefully, right? Do the activities with me. And also remember, I gave you some additional resources in my previous session. I gave you web links. I gave you uh, a link, a links to a YouTube seminar, uh, e-resource book. So eva gana, ragi no gulo practice kana. Nam kado gulo mehe ma uttar liu wo teke no gulang report teka clear no kote letter teka clear no kote eva gulo kude eval kara no kote. O gulang kuchara English vikurti vikurti. Atu wad liyan ne ne Englishi vikurti karla tamay liyan ne. Toko teruma o gulang te teri ne bulwa. Namut anit minisun te teri. Iti make tamay aditi ne loko ma prashne minisun ge grammar duru walai saha reading skill le ka duru walai. May they come a katuna hammer, anivarim, make a writing one to Balapan. I think some writer Terung and he may hackia vadi, some writer Hunda to Terinoa, Namutli and Vinakatantre. So there are many, many things that we can do. So don't worry, right? Don't don't feel anything, uh, anything, don't devalue yourself. Just understand what your problem is and used remedial measures to correct yourself kisima kenek thamange writing durwala ai kiyala english walta mama akamathi apo maha hari nathi language ekak kiyala ekata baninne pa right er apita karanna tiyenne mokakda durwalatawa ai mama durwala une ekata karanna pulande mokakda kiyen eka oha ganna so don't become angry and frustrated with english just rather understand it as a Normal problem, right? Thaman to blame karagan ne ani pa. Namut anivare mo gollo mama kiya na deval apply karan. Godak pelaavat apit apita pain ne. Samaharai sessions will tena wa. 
right every day they come to sessions but they leave without learning anything so we don't see any improvement in their speaking skills we don't see any improvement in their writing skills and at the end of the exam period examiners again speak to the lecturers and say uh, you know these levels these areas are still not developed in students answers right same comment every year because i've been with ca for a long time me ekama comment samaya apita examiners lagen lab enne etokota ka gede hinan durwala kam neda lecturers lage da ogalange da mage da ka get eka nisa api okkoma ekata team ekak wage weda karoth meka aniwaryama improve karaganna pulu right but if you leave today's session without really getting anything into your head really changing your behavior i think this is going to be just another session for you so don't let that happen okay uh kumudu can you please clarify uh i'm reading it correctly or is that a name sambavi is it a name of a lecturer yeah johan good answer ah okay right right okay i get it now uh go right um okay so i need to check like i used to work at the management faculty at the uoc those days level 3 english proficiency course okay now i need to check that with some of my friends uh, those of course we had we didn't have like when i was teaching at the uh, colombo university management faculty they didn't have like a set syllabus as such but i think now it's like a long time back no so like probably now they have some sort of a course system so i'll check on that right and uh, we'll see because i think it has to be more developed than this ne right? when you are dealing with um, numbers financial information because i've worked with all of you for a long time unlike most of the other university lecturers i work with you for a very long time so i totally understand and sometimes i feel like my i was also in that same situation long ago like we come from the english literature background and they don't most of the lecturers sometimes they don't understand the finance field right so they might not really understand the important areas areas that they have to customize management and accounting students then godak velata eka wenawa samahallata mokada lecturers lage background ekak naha ne godak lecturers lata finance wi english literature dekama thiyena lecturers la hari adu ide ithin etakota samahara welawata e samahara lecturers la innawa जनरल okay very good isuru i like your answer very good very clear writing i did not notice any grammar mistakes very good right so keep it up i want all 53 of you to make sure you send me your sentences mukins ekak hariyata liyanna kammeli lamaya ho bari lamaya ta khavadakwat report ekak assignment ekak ho exam ans ekakwat hariyata liya ganna ba i think start with a sentence okay that's the very first activity so here is the answer right check your answer future accountants finance professionals need to have a balance in all types of skills then balan ogalange uttare ek mage uttare kampaya kala right ogolla vachana 100 ak 
පාවිච්චි කරනකොට මං වචන 1 2 3 4 5 14 14යි පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ දැන් so i only used 14 words to express the same meaning whereas some of you were using so many words so that's another very important difference about the finance and accounting field as opposed to general English field or uh, the, the other fields of English, right? Finance, management, accounting, field is a unique field. ඔගොල්ලෝ මේ ඉන්න ෆීල්ඩ් එක හරි වටින ෆීල්ඩ් එකක්, right? නමුත් ඒ වටිනාකමට ඉංග්‍රීසි භාෂාවත් හැඩ ගැහිලා තියෙනවා. ඒක ඇති කරන්න. එතකොට ඔගොල්ලෝ තේරුම් ගන්න ඕනේ ඔගලන්ගේ ඉංග්‍රීසි ටීචර්, ජෙනරල් ඉංග්‍රීසි ඉගෙන්වා කියලා ඔගලන්ගේ ජොබ් එකට ගිහිල්ලා ඔගලන්ට ඒවා යූස් කරන්න සුදුසු නැහැ කියන එක. ඉතින් ඔතන ගැටනයක් තියෙනවා අර as I said before, there are many people who think that English can be taught by any person. ඉතින් මම ඉස්සලම කියන්න කැමති හොඳට හොඳ ගුරුවරයෙක් තෝරගන්න. ජෙනරල් ඉංග්‍රීසි ගුරුවරු තෝරගත්තොත් මං හිතන්නේ ඒක ටිකක් ඕගලන්ට අවාසි. මොකද ඔගලෝ ෆයිනැන්ස් මැනේජ්මන්ට් ප්‍රොෆෙෂනල්ස් ලානේ. එතකොට you need to have that conciseness, precision, right? ඔගලන්ගේ ස්ටයිල් එක වෙනස්. ඔගලෝ ඉංග්‍රීසි පාවිච්චි කළ යුතු ක්‍රමය වෙනස්. General with your English Karanda given English Lian Gut, Samaharava. I'm not saying completely remove general English, okay? But there is a genre of uh, English. Ethokata may English ki and they hamatana may come English Jati and Nevi Tien. Tenen on it. Godakaya hitana mitte kakta my misconception kakta my there's only one type of English, right? Every field has different types of Englishers. So we have a particular type of English we use in literature, language, linguistics. We have another type of English which is used in law, legal studies. We have a different type of English when it comes to medicine, medi medical sciences. Right? So similarly, in your field also, you have something uh, a type of English which is unique most of the time to finance management uh, accounting students, right? So let's look at what is writing, okay? So as I said, it's very important that you know what writing is and why it is important to management finance students as opposed to general students, right? Then among ඔකේ <laughs> So what are the symbols that we use? We use the letters of the alphabet. We use punctuation and we use spacers. Then how do again hit on Godak kaya the kale meva gana hit on it. Alphabet take again hit on it net nang. Anivarima punctuation and spacers gana hit on it. Neither. So always remember everyone, good writing is a combination of not just your alphabet letters, but also punctuation is very, very important. What is punctuation? Commas, full stop, capitalization, apostrophes, semicolons, colons, etc. We are okuma me writing ki in a kalavatulili. Have I ogolangin key and key the neck? Hurry at a kama eka pavija, hurry at a capitalization. Potim key and avanang key the neck full stop eka antimatadana. It may have a good dog, prashna visheshing exams well at the apitape no gula handwriting karanopata. Itama durvala yogalangi writing. Okay, so punctuation is another important part of your writing, and not to mention spacers. So, watchan after spaces, sentences after spaces, paragraphs after spaces. Space kiyan. Kole kiyan adet writing wala kota sa. 
ඔගොල්ල හිතුවද ඒ ගැන කවදාක did you ever think that the empty space empty area in on a page right empty area on a page is part of your writing how you use that empty space on your page shows whether you are a good writer or a bad writer have you ever given that a thought so what is good writing everyone right good writing is not just about writing words and sentences and chunking everything together good writing is about measuring how you going to how you are going to put punctuation alphabet letters numbers and the spaces to communicate thoughts and ideas in a readable form right in a readable form so writing is about communicating thoughts ideas but you're translating your thoughts and ideas into a readable form so writing is more important in some situations compared to your speaking why writing almost always leaves a permanent record spoken word is temporary right it does not leave a permanent record so me hama deema no dana api deyak liyanna giyot api asarthaka wenawa so try to understand that right writing don't take it in a very casual careless manner godak aya mama dakala thiyena kisima unanduwak naha egolange varadi hada ganna ehema unahama there is something that happens right if you ignore your writing skills there's something very strange that happens in your mind okay that is called fossilization fossilization is the fossilization means the more you do something wrong the more permanent it becomes in your mind so this is unique to language and education right ogalange finance theory wala thiyena deyak neme mama dan me kiyanne mama me kiyanne language learning linguistic theory ekak gena etukota ape language patten gattot theories gattot research gattot researchers la hoya gena thiyena deyak thamai ogolla yam kisi deyak nawata nawata waradi de nawata nawata liyenawana api hitamu kawuru hari effect and effect කියන වචන දෙක හරියට තෝර බේර ගන්න නැතු හැමදාම effect කියන එකට effect ලියනවා effect එකට effect ලියනවා right එයාට කොච්චර කියලා දුන්නත් උනන්දුවක් නැහැ එක හදාගන්න so if you keep on repeating this mistake it becomes permanently ingrained in your mind and at some point you find it very difficult to correct yourself right so if you ignore your mistakes and if you continue in a careless manner remember very soon it becomes a fossilized structure in your mind e thaman karana varadi ignore kara kara navata 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 e varadi karanawa na right then gsra session eke api katha kara subject work agreement eka ne then samahara student rights කියන එක හැමදාම ලියන්නේ student rights right sorry student right කියන එක ඒතර s එක අමතක වෙනවා හරි ඔක කොච්චර underline කරලා දුන්නත් සමහර අය උනන්දු නැහැ මේක හදාගන්න so what happens what happens is that it becomes a permanent structure in your mind ඔගලන්ගේ මනසේ ඒ වැරද්ද fossilize වෙනවා ඊට පස්සේ ඔබලා කොච්චර ඉංග්‍රීසි ක්ලාසස් ගියත් කොච්චර ටෝස් මාස්ටර්ස් ගිහිල්ලා ට්‍රේනින් කරලා ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ ඔබලන්ට අමාරුයි ගොඩක්ම අමාරු වෙනවා මේ වැරදි ඒක වැරද්දක් නෙමෙයි සෝ ඉට් බිකම් සෝ මෙනි ප්‍රොබ්ලම්ස් කනෙක්ටඩ් රයිට් සෝ දැට්ස් වයි යු සී ඊවන් නව් දෙර් ආ ලොට් ඔෆ් පීපල් හු හැව් මිස්ටේක්ස් දේ ආ දේ ආ වෙරි වෙරි ගුඩ් ඉන් දේ ඉංග්‍රීෂ් බට් ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ ඉංග්‍රීසි සමහර වෙලාවට සමහර තැන් තියෙනවා ඒ වැරද්ද නැවත 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 කෙරෙනවා කතා කරනකොට අපිට නිතර ඇහෙනවා ඇයි ඒක ෆොසිලයිස් වෙලා ඒක හදා ගන්න බෑ සෝ වට් ඇම් ඇයි සේයින් ටු ඕල් ඔෆ් යු ඇයි සේයින් දැට් යු නීඩ් ටු අන්ඩර්ස්ටෑන්ඩ් දැට් ගුඩ් රයිටින් ඉස් නොට් ජස්ට් අබවුට් ෆිලින් අ පේජ් විත් වර්ඩ්ස් ඇන්ඩ් සෙන්ටෙන්සස් රයිට් වොට් ඉස් ගුඩ් රයිටින් 
it is about combining the alphabet with punctuation and spaces and you're creating a readable permanent record of your thoughts so when you are doing this permanent record it's important to immediately recognize the problem and mistakes you are making and correct it right mukada lanka ave me sambandhen godak varadi mata thiyena mukade godak alata mama dakala thiyena samahara age olu wala thiyena english medium eke igena gattot oka hari ai etukota oi bema hari enawa right ehema naththam passe kaalaka okkom exams ivara kala apita british council gihila mewa hada gana so what happens right once you get things fossilized even if you go to british council or uk or america still the same problem is going to continue right so um yeah samir uh, please uh, <laughs> remind me at the end of the session also right i might forget again just let me uh, just remind me if you if you can right so i hope everyone is clear what am i saying i'm saying work on your mistakes immediately this moment today itself start okay because the more you delay your corrections the more your brain is going to create fossilized errors in your mind it passe ogalanta salli godak vedam ne oka nathi karaganna right ithin mama ogalanta free of charge karana kota ai ogollo meekata salli vedak kara ne ca is giving you all the facilities the problem is people are not using it properly okay let's look at the writing techniques what have we discussed so far today we talked about the industry um, situation right so first of all we looked at the two pie charts and according to the pie charts we see that uh, manager management students finance or accounting students need to have a balance in all the skills not just your technical skills right so you need to have proper balance writing speaking skills and then the next thing we talked about is what is good writing and as i said good writing is not just about filling a page with letters numbers and you know sentences it's more than that thirdly we are looking at the writing techniques so if you look at um all the writing techniques used by people around the world there are many many writing techniques as shown in this slide so we have we call we have uh, persuasive writing we have narrative writing techniques we have descriptive expository poetry so many things right and i have given you some examples for each of these uh, genres or writing techniques right but do do finance students management students accounting students accounting professionals do all of you need to study all of these writing techniques right the simple answer is no there are some writing techniques which are more useful to you than the others right so if you are at the beginner level or if you are struggling with your writing skills i would like you to pick and choose the most important skills techniques and work on them at the beginning stages but when you improve in your career like say you become a manager you become a senior manager you become a ceo cfo all the big shots then you might need the rest of it right i think ekani so ape career eke muladi apita avashya yam kisi sulu pramana e sulu pramane ogala patak me hama dema karanna avashya ne okay i think hari guru ware thora gadna hondata practice karanna every day read something in english right um, as as um, samira said i just remembered the last session i think i shared some uh, very useful resources with you i think eva balanne eva balla prayojanayak ganna mokada free of charge me you don't need to spend so much of money on that right but thamange thatte godak durwalana honda guruwarek wa ganima athyawashyay because there are so many 
uh, substandard varieties of English that is operating in this country. Right? Again, in Lanka, we actually go up where the Varge increasing Pavichi when we have a Tanamagi. Ethokot Ogola may not know then Ogolangi field the cut up make a show, kill a hitla, Ogola Pavichi Karot, Ikmanatama, Langa Pastava to Pathi. Right? So again, there are many writing techniques, but you don't need to study everything. There are some techniques that are highly useful to finance professionals, accounting professionals. So we are going to look at some of those things, right? So what do finance professionals write? What do you write? Obviously, the answer is very clear, right? We all know that you write letters, memos, emails, reports, proposals, e-communication, social media messages, resumes, CVs, examination answers. What do you for exam answers, kill a kyan net, Ogolanga writing skill liquor, and it I had a penal other in Hundavasta. Have a key and key the neither with an inagging him a hitane. Ogul hitane him a vedi, Ogolantone, we bahaka go mari monahari, uh, some are right. Not everyone, some are very good in their writing, but uh, up to them, vedi pura pena, trend decker. Negative path that you know. I can go duck a Uttaria clear ne cut a pardon. Ahana the enemy Uttaria. Right? So don't do that because you are going to one day get stuck in your career because you are unable to explain or write about it properly. Okay? Then Vedakuru, then fossilization, Namatagana Puluam me yoga land. Namut pasta dana dana fossilization errors, badivena taramata, ogolant ingrisi genaganima, amarwin. Right? So that's why a lot of people hate English. They hate English. They think that learning English is very difficult simply because they have ignored it so much and created so many uh, mistakes and errors, fossilized errors in their learning journey okay so what do finance professionals write very specifically if we look at some examples say for example if you are a tax accountant right you will write uh, if you are working for accounting firm you will usually write a memo to other members of your firm other members of your organization to describe what you have found in your research Right to describe your ideas about a text topic. So you will be not just writing to exa examiners and teachers. You will also be writing to your peers. Balada kochar bara patle veda tikhe lani. Apita vediya thatteng adu connector they are clear ne kahari lese. Namut ape ma colleagues lata they are clear no kot apik kochar parisang menno ne. Right. So if you are a tax accountant in a particular firm. Right, accounting firm, you have to write to other colleagues. Ogolangi ma sama matta me in night. Ito kota Ogolangi English on the net tam bala na pita kuchcha apasita abe anitta is tarah note to enadi. Right. Another example, an accountant. If you are an accountant working for a corporation, you might write a report for the management on an alternative accounting treatment for a particular kind of business transaction. Right. So. If, like, say, for example, one of your clients, they have done a business transaction and they want you to give them advice on how best to record this transaction in uh, under accounting terms. So you might have to look at the GAAP or IFRS uh, standards and then give them advice on that. You need to explain that to them. Then and there, right? You have to write a report. Right. And then uh, finally, um, there's another very special Arapet um, Hitiane. Me Atite put not Kalia Kiela. Ne, they think I got writing skill like a cotasakta. My so footnote disclosures, right? So in your industry, you need to know how to add footnote disclosures as you develop. I don't know, depending on your field, right? 
but as you develop in your career you need to be able to comment on that so footnote disclosures are another very unique genre of your of writing for finance accounting professionals because you have to communicate information that users may need to interpret the statements accurately and as i saw like i've been reading some uh, uh, articles on this and then many of the data and statistics say that even in english speaking countries uh, the footnote disclosures show that people have very bad writing skills right so what happens a person who is going through annual reports or accounting reports might not be able to understand the full meaning because you are unable to add footnote disclosures properly ethin balanna obalange industry ekata me writing skill eka nathi unama kochchara balapayama enawa da ne ne ethin ogola meeta wedi hamawama man kiyanne ogola unandu wenna dam adama dam don't postpone it because um menna me hetuwa nisa how well do finance professionals write okay i am not the one saying this uh, this is from a very respected book uh and it's like a industry standard so many entry level so they say the authors of this book says that many entry level accountants lack adequate writing skills even though the ability to write well is essential for success in the business world right so i think balanna me meki impact ekak kochchara de giya sare session ekak wagema mama adath obalanta pennanawa i am trying to persuade all of you that this this is a very important skill right in parallel to your writing sorry in parallel parallel to your accounting skills technical skills you need to develop your speaking and writing skills as well your english skills as well so the current industry statistics indicate that majority of finance professionals especially at the beginning level right entry level do not have enough so what will happen in the future when you all of you become more mature in the field we will end up having a level of leadership who does not have proper writing skills right to ape atite hitiya ape na finance professionals lage english yam matta mukata hondata tibba nisa thamai adata ihala level wala inna age english honda इंग्लिश दुर्वल अनागत फील नायक इंग्रीस कम्युनिकेशन दुर्वल सो वी कैटन right we can't let that happen all of us are responsible so here's another thing to convince you that you must work on your uh, writing skills today right without delaying without ignoring develop interest enjoy right the desire that you need to have a create a desire that you need to improve your uh, writing skills so this is from harvard business uh, school online and they were quoting from uh, some some other study and they said most pro pro prospective finance professionals understand the importance of accounting and analytics skills but many minimize the role of effective communication so read it again and try to understand what they're saying and then they said the problem is that if you take now these are the latest statistics right april 2020 to october 2021 the number of jobs requiring higher communication skills have continuously grown right have grown very steadily over this particular period and now it's at the highest point right so what does it mean ekena atithayata wadiya vartamaniya wenakota industry eke finance jobs wala ihalimma tiyenne communication skills one kiyala okay so this is not from from me again this is from the harvard uh, business school okay so why do finance professionals right now we have talked about a lot of things no what have we discussed think about it recall in your mind we discuss what is writing what is good writing okay we discuss 
uh, how what professionals write we discuss um, the importance of writing we also discuss some statistics and data from the industry okay now we are discussing why you write why do you write everyone okay why do you write think about it why do you write memos why do you write emails letters etc because you want to express ideas opinions plans values analysis right evaluations assessments you need to recommend certain things you need to create proposals you need to express your happiness right sometimes sometimes frustrations you need to express your dreams and your vision okay so finance professionals write because they have to express a variety of things so how do you express all of these things can you just do use one method to do everything right you can't do that you need to learn and master certain techniques in order to become proficient why is that why do you have to have special training when you are learning okay the main reason is that english is not our mother tongue right most of you your mother tongue is different either you are a sinhali speaker or you are a uh, tamil speaker right english all of us in sri lanka we usually learn it as a second language so when you learn any language as a second language you it becomes necessary for you to get specialized training otherwise you make a lot of mistakes okay um so how do you make sure that you write good english that you write better now okay you need to understand that there are some characteristics uh, to do with good writing okay so let's look at what those characteristics are right what makes writing work how do you make sure that you are writing well that your writing is not bad and misunderstood so these are some of the important things you will have to remember number one you need to know about your audience so audience awareness is important right number 2 you need to understand your purpose why are you writing okay what is your what is your main purpose in writing this report if you are writing a letter you need to ask yourself why am i writing this letter okay so we will do a lot of activities based on this in today's session so that's why i said don't log out you are not going to benefit if you just look out and put this on recording the useless right because remember language learning requires a lot of hands on activities ogalange accounting finance subjects recording ekak kahala igena ganna puluwam unata mataka tiya ganna ewa technical subjects kiyala technical knowledge right ethe ewa recording balla igena ganna puluwam නමුත් ඉංග්‍රීසි කියලා කියන්නේ එක ස්කිල් එකක්. ස්කිල් එකක් කියන දේ ඇතුලාන්තයෙන්ම ඉගෙන ගන්න ඕන දෙයක්. ඇතුලාන්තයට ගිය නැත්තම් මතු පිටින් ඉගෙන ගත්තොත් ස්කිල් එක මැනිෆෙස්ට් වෙන්න. ඒක නිසා ඔයගොල්ලෝ හෑන්ඩ්ස් ඔන් ඇක්ටිවිටීස් නිතර කරන්න පුරුදු වෙන්න. නිකන් බණ අහන වගේ ලෙක්චර්ස් අහන්න පුරුදු වෙන්න එපා because it does not work for language right you need to do a lot of things practice you need to apply and learn okay third one is accurate content so whenever you are writing a document or a letter memo whatever you need to sele select appropriate accurate content adala de pamanak liyan dan balanna palaweni activity eka adha kara api pie charts gana ki denek adala de accurate de liwada right ki denek general de wad but selecting accurate content is another important area then obviously the fourth one is conciseness and clarity so conciseness means kettiyeng liyanna on kettiyeng liyanna kiyanne ogolla karana wede thamai grammar halanawa prepositions halanawa wachana halanawa adahasa vipurthi karana 
एक अने में कंसाइजनेस किया है राइट सो कंसाइजनेस इज मच मोर डीपर देन दैट um so you have to master that as well you have to practice that as well right and then number 5 is effective organization so you need to learn how to organize uh remember what i said about uh, white space or the blank space in your page so when you talk about organization even that concept is very important right uh, but how many of you have ever thought that the white space or the blank area in your page is important not many people will know that okay appropriate format next one is appropriate format you need to learn what is a letter if you are writing a letter letter ek letter ekak wage penna letter ek memo ekak wage penna na memo ek letter ekak wage penna na tamange writing durwalai kiyala therun ganna den samahara ayita essay ekak liyanna kiwa ma essay eke sampurna tiyenne bullet points dala etoda bulleted information kiyanne mokadda kiyala ganna essay ekak kiyanne mokadda kiyala ganna ne graph ekak describe karanna kiwa ma राइटिंग So let's move on to my model. I told you that I'm going to introduce you to a very important model, and if you learn this, right, you will benefit uh, enormously because everywhere you go, you can immediately start writing clearly and coherent. Okay, so very that we need to study is the three-step model for effective writing. okay so i am going to introduce this model uh, to all of you write it down somewhere before you do any writing i want you to think about this three step model okay what are the three steps that you need to think about remember i gave you the characteristics right so all these characteristics are summarized under the three step model so if before you write a memo think about the three step model before you write exam answer think about the three step model before you write um a business report think about the three step model before you write an email think about the three step model right and always remember good writers always think first then write think first then write okay but unfortunately in sri lanka people write first think later ara andu karana karanne thehemane ape rate andu pawatta gene yanne te wage na issala karanawa ita passe thamai hitanne e wage wenna naraka right issala hitanna ita passe karanne right so think first write later don't start jumping into your exam answer and start writing 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 think right think about the three step so the very first one is the purpose everyone right what is the purpose of writing second step once you understand your real purpose in writing you need to do a audience analysis step number 2 is to always analyze your audience and the final stage is the organization stage where you have to think about language grammar punctuation spacers all of that comes under organization so you see out of the three step model only in the third one we will start writing okay the first two stages are connected to your thinking namu lankave me de piliganna akamathi godak kaya mama godak kaya to gannala thiyena nisa man danna godak comment meka kiyala dunnata wedak ne hamotama loku hadisiyak thiyena असाइनमेंट के इवर कर रखा है, नेको उत्तरे लिए ले इवर कर रखा है, नेको रिपोर्ट के लिए ले इवर कर। हरी में कीप देना है, लामा इन टा पेशेंस थी अन्य पर्पस एनालिसिस से काई ऑडियंस एनालिसिस से काई पोड़ा खरी करा। 
හැමෝටම ඕනේ ඉක්මනට උත්තරයක් ලියන්න ඉක්මනට රිපෝට් එකක් කරන්න right so i do understand you all are busy but at the initial stages you have to practice this at least the three step model එතකොට මේක කරන්න බෑ කම්මැලි it's a waste of time කියලා ඔයගලන්ට හිතනවා නම් ඒ කියන්නේ ඔයගලන්ගේ රයිටිං කවදාකත් දියුණු කරගන්න අමාරුයි කියලා right so පළවෙනි දේ තමයි ඔයගලන්ගේ attitudinal change එකකට යන්න ඕනේ ඔයගල අර මම first session එකෙත් කිව්වේ ඒක තමයි grammar කියලා කියන්නේ ගොඩාක් අය හිතනවා english medium ඉගෙන ගත්ත ඉබේම හරියයි කියලා ඉතින් ඉබේම හරියනවා නම් අද ලංකාව මෙතනදී ඉන්න ඕනේ ha how many of us and you have studied in english medium but i mean has the errors gone down no the errors have kept on increasing increasing if i compare myself with my parents generations uh, they had much much better english than all of us right and if i compare my english with my uh, children's english i have better english than my children right even though they are learning in english medium they are studying uh, so many things in english medium they have not improved මොකද්ද එහෙනම් හේතු හේතුව තමයි ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ්ස් අපි මේන්ටේන් කරන්නේ අපි ගොඩාක් වෙලාවට ලැංග්වේජ් කියන දේ පැත්තකට විසි කරනවා අපෝ මේ මොනවාද කියලා හිතනවා රයිට් සෝ ඩෝන්ට් තින්ක් ලයික් දැට් හැව් අ මෙන්ටල් චේන්ජ් ඇන්ඩ් අන්ඩර්ස්ටෑන්ඩ් වයි ඉට් ඉස් ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් ෆෝ ඕල් ඔෆ් අස් ටු මේන්ටේන් ලැංග්වේජ් ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ්ස් රයිට් සෝ තින්ක් අබවුට් ද 3 ස්ටෙප් මොඩල් බිෆෝ යු ඩූ එනි රයිටින් වට් ආර් ද 3 ස්ටෙප්ස් everyone shout and tell me first one purpose second audience third organization right so as i said before we are going to do some activities based on this right okay so how is everyone doing can i know how you are feeling are you falling asleep or are you still there are there any questions so far is everyone doing okay shall we continue or you want to have a quick break what do you want to do so i hope everyone is listening and you all are not sleeping now okay so i'm looking at all the people um we have 54 Okay, thank you. Keshala and Duminda, Abhishek. <laughs> okay, Abhishek wants a break. Anyone else also wants uh, to have a quick break? Okay, I will tell you that. That's a good question, Johan, right? So it's, it's a matter of using it now. In the exam, it will come to you automatically. Uh, we will talk about it. Yeah so shall we all go for a very quick break i want all of you to stretch your legs maybe just walk around in your class uh, shall we come back in 3 minutes is it okay 5 minutes or 3 minutes okay we'll go for 5 minutes then right 5 minutes break and it's um, 7 i'll say it's 7:20 okay 7:20 now and kiana 7:25 i'm going to yeah so I'm going to uh, come back to session by 7:25 everyone okay so just grab a uh, glass of water and do something and then because we have a lot of activities coming up in the program after the break okay
Okay, so everyone, I hope all of you are back. It's um, 7.25 and I think it was a good idea that we took a little break. Okay, so are all of you there? Shall we continue? Okay, very good. Thanks, um, Abhishek and everyone. So yes, let's continue, right? So here comes the fun part, everyone. Um, and we are going to jump into the fun stuff. But before we have to, before we do the activities, we need to learn uh, the very first step, the purpose of writing, okay? You need to, first of all, if you are at the exam, Right now, someone asked me, you know, how do you apply the three-step model in the exam situation? So number one, what is your purpose in writing? Every question has a different purpose, right? So say, for example, in the exam, one question might be MCQs. Another question might be short answer. Another one could be extended answer. So your purpose is different in all these three situations, right? So if it is extended answer, you need to understand that your purpose can be one of these things. Even in a short answer, the purpose can be one of these things, right? So usually, why do all of you write? What are the main purposes that you have, right? Why do you, what are the main reasons why you are writing different types of documents. Let's look at those. I want all of you to take one minute and I want you to st uh, study these purposes and the definitions very carefully because our activity depends on how well you have understood each of the different purposes I have listed here, right? And also be aware that there are many other purposes um, than the ones I have listed on the slide. Okay, so let me be silent for the moment. For a moment, I want all of you to look at the slide, read it carefully, and try to understand. Okay, what is uh, what is to inform? What is to explain? What is to argue? What is to entertain? Right, just read it and try to understand. Okay, is that enough time? Okay. 
Right. So I'm not going to explain anything. I'm going to just take you to our activity. Right. So now remember what are we talking about? We are talking about the three step model and we are in step number one. Step number one is whatever that you write. It can be a letter, memo, email, exam answer. Think about the main purpose in your writing. Main purpose can fall under different categories. Sometimes you write your documents to inform people. So we call them informative writing. Sometimes you write uh, to explain certain things. So we call them expository writing. Sometimes you write to argue your opinion or your stand on, on a particular issue, right? We call that argumentative writing. And sometimes you simply write to entertain people. So you call that entertaining writing. Okay, so uh, there are various other functions, but let's jump into the activity and at the end of the activity, let's find out how well you have understood your main purpose, right? So, okay, here we go. I don't know if this will work, but um, let's give it a try. Just before that, I want um, everyone to uh, raise your hand. Okay, virtually, if you have, if you are familiar with Mentimeter, how many of you are familiar with Mentimeter? Anyone? Okay, two people. I don't know, Hamza, are you familiar with Mentimeter? I can only see two people, Darshana and Hamsa, uh, said that they are familiar with Mentimeter. I don't see any other hands being raised. So I am assuming that none of you know that. So it's fine, right? I just wanted to ask you, okay. And then Dumind also said he is aware. So obviously three people uh, out of all of the others, um, are aware it's all right i just wanted to give you a little introduction in that case okay so let's jump into the activity let's try it out and then if it's if it is working it's good but if it's not working then i go into the low tech mode okay so let's see what happens right. so here i'm going to give you three scenarios everyone if you like you can take a screenshot of this one uh, or yeah just take a screenshot right if you like so here's the scenario i have given you three scenarios and i want you to match each of these scenarios to the um, purposes of writing okay so what is the scenario uh, assume you are the controller for salon electrical supplies so that's a company and you are the controller there Ceylon electricals or ce is considering purchasing stock in sol light in cooperation, one of CE is major suppliers of light fixtures. So, uh, uh, Harindi says that she can't see. Oh, I'm at the beginning of the chat. Right? Sorry about that. Okay. So, everyone, are you? can you hear me clearly? Are there any issues? Okay, thanks, Kumudu, because I thought I got uh, disconnected. Right, so let's come back to the scenario. So you are working for whom? Ceylon Electrical Supplies, right? And who is your uh, supplier? Sol Light. Sol Light is your supplier. They are supplying light fixtures to you. So what are you trying to do? What is your company planning to do? Your company wants to purchase stock in solid light. Okay, so now this is a very unique situation. 
none of the other uh, people will face, right? So teachers, uh, doctors, lawyers don't have to do this. No, only finance, management, accounting uh, professionals have to do something like this. So if your company is thinking of purchasing stock in Sol, Sol Light, uh, imagine that you were asked to do different things on the same situation, right? So the very first time your managers asked you to produce a report on the advantages and disadvantages of this purchase. So I want you to think about the purposes of writing and what decide what is your main purpose. If your managers asked you to write a report on advantages and disadvantages of stock purchasing, I want you to think about what the main purpose is. Secondly, uh, they have asked you to write a report on a different thing now, right? Provide a decision whether to go ahead with the stock purchase or not to do it, right? So imagine your managers asked you to write um, about a decision. You have to give them a decision whether to do it or not to do it, right? So what is your main purpose then? Thirdly, your managers have asked you to write a report on how to finance the purchase. So if that is the case, what is your main purpose in writing? Okay, so these are the three scenarios. Now, now I'm jumping into the game. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but uh, you can do two things to join the game, everyone, right? Uh, first of all, if you have your um, your mobile phone with you or smartphone with you, please go to the scanner, uh, QR code scanner, hold the scanner against the QR code here. It's small, but it will read it, right? And then I want you to uh, scan it. If you do that, it will take you to Menti, right? If not, just go, use your mobile phone and I want you to go to menti.com on your browser. Okay, go to menti.com on your browser. Hold on, I can jump there. Okay, I have made it full screen now so that you can clearly see this. Okay, hold on. So here you go. I hope now it's much more clearer to you. Right. Everyone, so do one of these two things. Use your QR scanner or camera to scan the QR code and it will take you to menti.com. If not, um, I want you to go to menti.com. It's on the top, okay? And when you go to menti.com, they will ask you for a, Q, uh, for a code. So please type this number, 73684714, okay? And then you will be able to vote on one of the answers. Okay, am I making myself clear? Is it... Clear or not clear? If it is not clear, ask me again, right? So either use your QR code scanner to go there or you can just simply use your browser, type the uh, address www.menti.com and then it will take you to a site and they will ask you for a code. So type the code 73684714 to join the game. It will take a little time, everyone. Okay, so you have to be a little patient. Uh, don't quickly, quickly click on the phone because then you will get logged out. Okay, so be a little patient until it loads in your phone. And then you can join the game. Okay, so if you need further clarifications on how to join the game, you can do that. Uh, let me know, I'll explain again. 
but I am going to escape this just to see whether I'm connected or not to this. Ah, yeah. Okay. Excellent job. I can see some of you are already voting. I would like the others also to do that. Shall we wait a little patiently so that we get more results? Okay. Excellent job. Come on, everyone. Hurry up. So you can, all of you can, I hope, see the screen now, no? So you, your results are coming in. Okay, I'm waiting. All of you can patiently connect to the game. I can see the results. Yeah, the second one requires a word. So out of the four words, which word will you put? To argue, to entertain, to inform, to recommend, right? What is the purpose? Second question requires you to um, type a word. So the word should be one of the purposes. So give the word, okay, to argue, to entertain, to inform. Okay, wow, I can see the second slide also. Some of you have put in the code here. Please remove that, okay? So you have to, then may samaharai instructions terungaran nekiela ogulanta make enuk pena vane edu. Haan, ahana deetu nemei uttari deela thini keela. Look at the screen, everyone, what I'm sharing. Right? So you have to only put one of the four purposes. purposes. purpose So if you are writing a report on providing a decision on doing or not doing the proposed stock purchase, what is the purpose in writing such a report? Right? doing the proposed stock So what is the purpose of writing? report purpose report Doing the proposed stock purpose Right? You're the report writer. You're not the decision maker. So, api khatakarana hatra denengya. Right? So, I want everyone to correct your mistakes if possible. I don't know if it allows you to. Kata hari pulan doi daapu ekki naan teme kode ka ayin karan ni metani. Okay. So, let's see how many of you have. I think about 26 of you have answered the second question. Right. This is the third question, right? So the third one, you have already 19 players and more are joining in. Okay, wonderful. Right? 24 players ready. Okay, now I'm going to start the timer. Okay, right. So this is your question. A report on how to finance the stock purchase. What is your main purpose? Is it to describe? Is it to argue? Is it to inform? Or is it to evaluate? Right? You can vote. So finally, we can see who is leading the leaderboard uh, at the end of the timer. Okay, so the timer is going at the bottom. Just put your answer, right? Select one of these options. Think about the report you are writing. Okay, now everyone has voted. 
let's go to the leaderboard right so out of all of you only three people have got the correct answer right okay only three people have got the correct answer right so let's see uh I'm going to escape from this, right? Shall we go to the early answers? Okay. If there are still people who want to vote on this, um, you can go ahead and do it. Okay. Right. So I'm going to escape. And we'll come back to the game. Okay. So what is the first thing I asked you, everyone? You have to write a report. And um, your management has asked you to produce a report on the advantages and disadvantages of stock purchasing. Right? So if you're writing such a report, my question was, what is your main purpose? What is your main purpose, right? So is it to inform? Is it to entertain? Is it to uh, recommend? What is your purpose? So obviously, the main purpose in writing a, a, a um, report that is talking about advantages and disadvantages is to inform. So most of you, I'm very happy with that, most of you have said uh, to inform, actually 56% of you um, have said uh, it is to inform, right? So that's a good job. 56 has said, uh, good job. No one has luckily selected to entertain because obviously you can't write uh, a business report to entertain people, right? 19% said to argue and uh, 25% said to recommend. Eto kote them mokak the making api terungan no ne ogalang mea. Then api me game meka gahua ne. Eto kote me game making api to godak honda deval terungan no pula. Mokak the terin ne. Right? About 65% of, of you can understand that a report that uh, summarizes the advantages and disadvantages is written for the main purpose of informing. But see it a pahalava, saha see it a visa, again see it a tis pahakma pantie, egulanta terumakne, report take a liana main purpose sick again. That a hundred they are the mulu report take a masar the kai, right? So may vake report take a cake and a report on advantages and disadvantages. Why do we write such a report? Right? It is not to recommend anything. Recommend right? Um, it was argue. Argue Right? Okay, so I think most probably Dominda says the line is being interrupted. Uh, can all of you hear me clearly now or is it still breaking? Okay, so shall I continue? Uh, if it is difficult, let me know most probably because, uh, uh, yeah, thanks, Keshala, also. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone. Because, uh, you know, sometimes when I use the game, uh, it's using a lot of data. So sometimes that can happen. So let me know, right? Okay, so then I'm going to make up on the game. Make up the room, going to be a hammer, and the game, the end of the game, again, right? So over long and see it. This past the nectar report take a clean of Radana or Muna Therin. You know, what this really suggests is that 35% of people amongst us needs a lot of training in recognizing the correct purpose. Then, Apihitamoko, if you all have to go to uh, Candy, wherever you are, you have to go to Candy, but you don't know you have to go to Candy, right? What happens? If you don't know your main purpose, will you go to candy? No, no. 
right so someone says i ah, in ape gider in but you never ask where is your house right so you start your journey without knowing your purpose right you might end up going to newer area you might go end up going to yapane or jaipna or medical or where where it is but you will not go to where you really really need to be okay so it's like that if you don't understand why you are writing a document your entire communication process collapses right etokota metana phande godak kay honda godak kay honda because 65% of you have correctly identified that when the management asks you to write a report on advantages and disadvantages they are actually asking you for what they are asking you to give them information about the good and the bad of stock purchasing they don't want you to give them uh ideas or proposals or decisions about what to do what not to do right then hitanna podda mam me kiyapu degena right etokota ogolo document ekak kliyenawa nan e document ek report ekak kliyenawa nan management ek adahasa mukadda management ek bala porottu expectation ek mukadda उटेश two sides of the stock purchasing option they don't want you to tell them what to do but according to the game the game results 20% of you will be doing something unnecessary uncalled for see at a visi dene right anavashya deyak karana etukoda management ekak satutu veida right ogalante ehema hitanna wenawa ma right management එක සතුටු වෙයිද ඔබලම් හොඳ employee කෙනෙක් විදිහට ඒගොල්ල දකීද මොකද ඔබල අනවශ්‍ය දෙයක් කරා right so you will be giving them a decision you will give them advice in your report එතකොට to recommend කියලා කියන්නේ එහෙනම් කෙනෙක්ට advice උපදෙසක් දෙන්න තමයි ඔයා මේ හදන්න නමුත් මේ මේ report එකේ ප්‍රධාන බලාපොරොත්තු උපදෙස් ලබා ගැනීම නෙමෙයි information ලබා එතකොට යන්නේ කොහෙද මල්ලේ පොලිස් මැනේජර්ස් ලා කියන්නේ කර එකක් කරන්න ඔබල කරන්න වෙන දෙයක් right so remember someone asked me to apply this to exam situation same thing happens in exams right you don't really understand the question requirement you do whatever you want you write whatever you want හැබැයි examiners ලා කියලා තියෙන එක දෙයක් information දෙන්න කියලා oya decision ekak deela thiye etokota uttare varadi right so another 15% of you have said you will write a report to argue right to argue means that you have to already have a position etokota ogollot 100 ta 15 denekut karanne anawashya deya management ekata one information vitarai ogollo upades dena ogollo kiyana mage mate meka thamai ogollot meka karanne right etokota me report eke bala porottuwa to argue karannat neme to recommend karannat neme to the 100th is pahak me pantiye anavashya deyak karanawa communication failure ekak siddha wenna right wahana kochchara lassana da habe api satutu wenna onkada 100th 65k inno hondata meka therum gatta right ona hata hatak inno da okay right so let's move to the next one उंड now the management has asked you to produce a report on providing a decision on doing or not doing the proposed stock purchase then mokadda attata metana ahanne 
ඔගලන්ගෙන් මෙතන පාටිසිපේට් කරලා තිනවා මට පේන විදිහට නම් 28ක් නේද තියෙන්නේ I I can't really see see it clearly I think it's about 28 have participated so out of the 28 most of you have said to inform some of you have said to argue only a few of you have said to recommend right etukoda dan metana mokadda a report on providing a decision on doing or not doing the proposal ena metana di management eke bala porothu mokadda ogolange report eka kiyola e golanta decision eka natta uttarayak bala porothu wenawa e gol so what is your main purpose in writing this report it is to recommend ena metana ගොඩක් අය ඒ උත්තරේ හරියට තේරුම් ගත්තේ නැහැ. මෙතන ගොඩක් අය නිකම්ම ඉන්ෆර්මේෂන් දීලා. So you are under chief. නේ මැනේජ්මන්ට් එකේ බලාපොරොත්තු ඊට වැඩි ගොඩක් වැඩි දෙයක් ඕගලන්ගේ රිපෝට් එකේ. ඒගොල්ලෝ බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා යම් ගයිඩන්ස් එක. හැබැයි ඔබලා දෙන්නේ මොනවද? තොරතුරු ටිකක් විතරයි. මොකද majority of you have just said inform. So if you write a inform inform informative report, you are under achieving the audience or the management's expectations so got a management ke expectations walta goda kadu en thamai ogolla deliverables management ka satutu veida nah ena metana di mukadda karanna one metana di karanna one ogolla recommend karanna etota recommendation report ekak kliyana kota eka godak wenas informative report ekak kliyana wanta wedi ne Okay, moving on to the third one. Okay, let me escape. It's not moving. yeah so the final question i gave you is about yeah it's about the report on how to finance how to finance right so here the answers are uh, to inform and as i told you only three people out of all of you have gotten it correct ena me report ekem pradhana purpose ekam mokadda a report on how to finance your managers are actually expecting you to inform them right inform them how to do this information thama egola metana di bala poruttu wenne right egola evaluate karanna bala poruttu wenne description ekak bala poruttu wenne to argue karanna bala poruttu wenne right so only three people will be delivering the correct expectations uh, of the management right so now you understand i hope ogolang me purpose ek no terum ganna thakkal ogol english en liyana hama dema anith kena misunderstand ogolanta samata hitena pulan sha mam marata liwane kiyala but anith kena ta no terena prashnaya hitena thiye right so what are the things that you have learned here okay what what do you need to learn from this activity right number one is that different purposes the different purposes drive you to write in different ways right over a thoraturu ek ekatu karana vidiha eva present karana vidiha eva eva ge tiyena me thoraturu जस्ट <laughs> it is also very very relevant for email writing letter writing memo writing exam answer writing right any type of 
writing. Okay, so are there any questions before I move to the next one? Uh, are there any clarifications uh, you need from me? Did all of you understand? Does anyone have any confusions or clarifications? You can ask and raise your questions now. I may purpose the writing purpose the commitment where they got kill up it. Okay, did everyone follow me? No issues. Okay, so let's jump into the next activity, right? So now we understand the very first step in our writing process is to understand the purpose. Yam kisi ke ne kogalanta dea kliyan na kiwot, ay liyan na kiyan. Palaveni prashne, ogala hagano ne tamangye. What is the purpose of writing? So the purpose of writing can be variety of things. You, you can write to inform people, you can write to persuade people, you can write to recommend things, you can write to argue your opinion or position. Next part of this uh, step or process is to connect the language with your purpose. So as I said before, Every purpose requires you to use different techniques, different styles, different organization methods, right? Now, this activity will help you to understand how to marry uh, the purpose with the language. So, you a document, email, letter, exam, examiners, uh, may may venne Egolanta nikama information with the baone. Natang Egolan mama decision nikak den known in the Natam mama recommend karan known in the Natam mama argue karan known in the Maga opinion nikka. Ekatama is a lekker. Devani kotusatamai, ehema terunga tem passe a purpose the canoe, Ogolanga language a lean a watcher, style, grammar, okuma venaswin. Right, so I think Balan to make a kuchara vadagat the gear. Then Mama Dekka keep the name log out to then Balan to pain on it. I may prashi digin digatama may rate yan nikila. May sessions world to join when an amateur with Rai Samaharai. It was a bagaka thin in it was a log out in them. A mage paudgalika kale, a mage mahansi a kuchara, uh, them mat on no oya kati and isatame make a digata digata yan nithing. Samaharai wa pita hadan bani. I'm happy that there are a large number of people still in the session. Uh, so do the activities and make sure you understand what I'm saying. Samaharaya Hariyasai, Mama Paudgalika Ogulam Samaraya Te Katakarnam Samandhan, Samaraya Hariyasai improve Karagarna. Hari Mounandui, Hari Prashna Hanwa, they want to improve. But Samaharalama in no kuchar api unandu kadembalan online game meka karala in the net session neke. Mata hita gan be mela mai mona makarod de hit inne kia la mai mai igena gan. Nae te eva ge tamai. Some people don't have the necessary aptitude to learn and improve because they really like easy things to do. Lanka rata pala ne karan ne te mani le sikrama mal te tamai nitaram. Amaru deya kie pugaman session ne ke log out pe no. Right? I think Lanka ve soru pe tamai. So everyone who is remaining, good job done, and I hope you will continue. Okay. So uh, let's look at this paragraph for a moment, right? Now, this is a very familiar paragraph to most of, most of you because the subject is a very close thing, I hope, to all of you, right? So what I want you to do now, right? So my next activity is a low-tech activity. I just want you to post your answer in the chat, right? My answer, my question rather, is I want you to read this paragraph, right? And I want you to just compare this paragraph with the second paragraph here. Okay, don't, don't do any answering yet, right? Read the first paragraph, okay? And then read the second paragraph. 
when you read both the paragraphs, I want you to tell me uh, the main differences between these two paragraphs, right? I want you to uh, tell me who is the audience here. Then, you the second step audience analysis. I want you to read the first paragraph and tell me who is the audience for paragraph one, who is the audience for paragraph two, and how do you know this? What are the differences that you notice? Okay, so let me give you a minute to read paragraph one. Once you finish reading, I want you to raise your hand virtually, right? So that I know how many of you have finished reading paragraph one. So read it and raise your hand. Okay, thanks, Anura. So, Aruna has finished reading. Nadira has finished. So, I want all of you who have finished reading to actually think about the readership, right? Who is the audience for this paragraph? What is the purpose for writing this? Is it... Is it to inform? Is it to persuade? Is it to recommend? Right? So paragraph one, what is the reason for Okay, I'm going to show you the second para now because I see a lot of hands being raised. So here we go to the second paragraph, right? So read this one also. I want you to tell me what is the main purpose and who is the reader, right? What type? Okay, so if you have finished reading, now I want you to use your chat and tell me uh, what are the differences that you notice between paragraph one and paragraph two. So for example, who is the audience for paragraph one? What type of language can you see? Paragraph two, who is the audience? What type of language can you see? Okay, so everyone go to your chat and send me your responses. Thank you. 
Okay, very good. Uh, Fasol has sent the answer, but only him. What about the others? I want all of you to tell me something. At least if you can't identify the audience, I want you to tell me the, what is the main purpose. Is it to inform? Is it to explain? Is it to recommend? Uh, is it to argue? Right? What is the purpose in these two paragraphs? Paragraph one. And para, okay, let me go to para one so that you can again read it if you want. Okay, good. Samira has also sent in an answer. I want others to also very quickly send in your answers. Hamza, can you um, clarify which one is recommend? Because the paras, the kak metanadinan, which paragraph are you referring to? Okay, good effort, Keshala. But let's see. Abhishek has given an answer. Shiani, Duminda. Ah, okay, very good. Duminda has identified the audience. Very good. So, like that, I would I would encourage everyone to do it. writing improve thinking is an improvement. Because if you think about it, it's not just unique to English writing skills, right? It's also applicable to your mother tongue. If you are writing in Sinhali or in Tamil, you still have to have better advanced thinking skills to write better. If your thinking is not there, you can't write. Okay, so number one, don't expect easy things always. If you honestly, honestly want to improve your situation, you need to commit and you need to do difficult things, right? So I'm very happy with a lot of people sending answers. Uh, whatever you think, it doesn't matter. Send the answer. Right, very good answer, Tenuka. Happy Baluma, I'm just going to explain to you but you can see how well you are now able to see the main purpose, right? Okay, so keep on sending your answers, everyone. Please do that because you can then check your own answer, right? Uh, you will not know whether you thought correct or not. Right. So let's look at this paragraph. How did IFRS develop? It began in 1973 when the International Accounting Standards Committee was formed and began. Okay, just give me a second. I want to uh, escape and yeah, make it a little. Okay, because I want to draw and underline certain things here. Right. So let's keep it like that. Um. Yeah, and then says that uh, was formed and began issuing international accounting standards. In 2000, IESB, uh, IA, IASB replaced the IASC and began pro pro promulgating standards in a series of pronouncements designated as IFRS. So make a cue on a What do you understand? What is the main purpose in this paragraph? Right? The main purpose here is to inform. Why do we say inform? Right? So when you say I want to inform someone or if something is, if you're writing informative piece of writing, that means you are talking about studies, uh, you're actually talking about facts, right? It began in 1793. Uh, then in 2001, this happened. Meva monad, meva facts. Siddha vela ivarai, meva facts. 
so if you are writing an informative piece right you are mainly giving facts to your audience so therefore paragraph one is a factual paragraph or an informative paragraph the purpose is to inform but who is the audience now right then may wage paragraph ekak kiyawanne kawuda so probably the audience is uh, uh people who are related to finance field so probably uh, like students or newcomers or people who are interested in the history right so let's move to the next one now second paragraph right what is the main purpose in this second paragraph so if you look at the language you will see that the second paragraph is comparatively different to the first paragraph ai api ehema kiyanne because now see the language here the key events of the past decade show support for ifrs etukota me mukadda me tiyenne me tiyenne writer ge opinion ek right etukota me writer ge opinion ek eya ta anu eya kiyenawa ifrs ekata lu minisu wedipura kemathi right uh, uh, during the past period e age opinion ek right and ithuru sentences walin eya monada karanne me ithuru sentences walin eya age opinion ek pattata thamai eya katha karan so what is the main purpose in this paragraph the main purpose here is to argue right or present an argument so this is called an argumentative so argue okay i'll just say argue right so this is a argumentative piece of writing then aapahu balanna paragraph ekak diha palaveni paragraph ekak informative paragraph ekak right so the first paragraph is an informative paragraph why because it gives a lot of facts and information so it is called informative writing the second paragraph is more than that it gives information but mostly it is arguing for a particular side of the issue right so argumentative writing is usually about taking a stand about a position about the issue and then trying to support that argument or opinion through throughout the rest of the a uh, document so this is called argumentative writing okay let me show you another example which i did show right can all of you very quickly look at this and tell me whether this this paragraph para 3 is similar to para 1 and 2 do you think para 3 is similar or different to para 1 and 2 what do you feel just read it and let me know your opinion what do you feel everyone is this paragraph similar or is it different to the other two paragraphs okay very good keshala says different others abhishek says similar right uh, duminda says are three not similar okay what about the others hurry up and decide because if you understand these differences in the because you all are you all are trained in numbers calculations right so sometimes you might miss these little changes in the language right you need to develop that sensitivity tokota yam kisa da kiyona kota apite e කියෝන දේවල් අතර තියෙන භාෂාවේ වෙනස්කම් තේරුණොත් විතරයි පර්පස් එක තේරෙන්නේ පර්පස් එක තේරුණොත් විතරයි ඕගලන්ට ඒකට හරියට උත්තරයක් ලියන්න පුළුවන් හරියට උත්තරයක් ලියුවොත් විතරයි ඕගලන්ගේ වටේ පිටේ ඉන්න අය ඕගලන්ට එක්ක සතුටු වෙනවා right එහෙනම් ඒක තමයි කරන්න ඉතින් this is not a easy thing but try 
ඕකේ ලේසි දේවල් වලින් කවදාකවත් බෙනිෆිට්ස් ලැබෙන්නේ අපි අමාරු දෙයක් කරොත් තමයි අපිට අචීවමන්ට් එකක් ලැබෙන්නේ so give it a try there you go very good a lot of people are sending in answers right but it doesn't matter whether your answer is right or wrong just that you need to have confidence to express your idea ne ara man giye sare session ekey di teka chutta kiwwa ogalange uttare hariyanna monne it's you just have confidence to say what you think godak lankawe ayita natte eka thamai thamanta uttareyak hita ganna ba samahara ayita samahara ayita hituwath kiyanna kemathi ne right so don't be like develop confidence uttare hari giya waraduna kamak ne give an answer because that is step number 1 right okay let me explain this one very quickly now uh, it says an examination of financial reports that include both uh, us gaap and ifrs results show that there is little difference between ifrs and gap okay then ogale meka kiyogena kiyogena yanakota ogante menna me wage dewal dakkada දැක්කේ නැත්තම් ඔන්න ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක්. හරි මොකද මේ වගේ දේවල් වලින් තමයි අපස් එක අපිට හරියටම අහු වෙන්නේ. සෝ මෙන්න මෙහෙම එක්ෂන් එකක් තියෙනවා. This is important finding because ඔන්න ඔහොම දේවල් තියෙනවා. හරි? එතකොට මේ මේ පැරග්‍රාෆ් එකේ අදහස අනිත් දෙකත් එක්ක කම්පයා කරාම this is very different right so you compare most of you are correct uh when you compare para 3 with para 1 and 2 para 3 is obviously very different because the main purpose for para 3 is to explain right explain or in other words we call this expository writing etokota ara man kalin kiwa wage ogalange managers la ogalanta ek ek ewa liyala denna kiyenawa ne right etakota hitanne pa hamma hamma tissema liyanna kiyana welato ohe liyanna one kiyala li e yam kisi request ekak ogolanta korot me report ekak karanna ara letter ekak gahanna me email ekak liyanna me memo ekak gahanna kiyala kiyuwot issalama hitanna mokadda me golange real purpose ekak mokadda man attatama me golanta karala denna what is the expectation right then once you understand the expectation change your language to suit it right so if we go to the earlier paragraphs ogalante kiyoth ogalange managers la mate mate advantages disadvantages me stock purchasing wala kiyanna kiyala report ekaka you need to understand you need to provide a lot of facts and information but if they say that you need to give them a decision whether to do the stock purchasing and not to do or not to do it then you need to develop argumentative writing argumentative writing liyanna nan thamanta thamange opinion ekak okkotama kalin tiyenna one ogolo okkotama kalin ogalange technical knowledge paavichikala analysis karanna cost benefits analysis ratio analysis ogolo oy karana dewal tiyenna ne ewa karanna one ඒවා කරලා ඔයගලන්ගේ රිසල්ට් එක මත තමයි ඔයගල ආගියුමන්ටිටිව් රිපෝට් එක ලියන්න. එහෙම නැත්නම් සමහර වෙලාවට මැනේජ්මන්ට් මයිට් සේ ඕකේ කැන් යු ප්ලීස් එක්ස්ප්ලේන් ටු අස් ද බෙනිෆිට්ස් ඔෆ් ඩුයිං දිස් ස්ටොක් පර්චස්. එතකොට මොකද්ද ඒගලන් බලාපොරොත්තු? They just want you to write an expository writing. Expository writing වල ප්‍රධාන පර්පස් එක බලාපොරොත්තුව තමයි to explain things to them because they don't understand. පැහැදිලිද? එතකොට මොකද ඕගොල්ලෝ නේ එක්ස්පර්ට් නේ? ඕගොල්ලෝ එක්ස්පර්ට් නිසා මේ ෆීල්ඩ් එකේ your managers are asking you to explain things to them. So when you are explaining you talk about implications. What happens if this is done in this way? If this is done in that way what happens? if this is not what happens eka thamai me explanation kiyala kiya etukota exam situation ekaka oka awashya nadda even in an exam situation you need the same skills sometimes your ex- exam questions are asking for explanation right sometimes your exam questions are asking for information but what do most people do they just write whatever 
දෙකටම එකම දේ තමයි හැමෝම ගොඩක් අය ලියන්නේ so you need to understand what are we talking about everyone how to match the language that you are using with the purpose informative piece එකක් ලියනවා නම් අපි facts figures information දෙනවා argumentative piece එකක් දෙනවා නම් අපි ඒකට අපහු facts figures දෙනවා නමුත් අපේ position එකත් එක්ක අපේ position එකට අපේ අපේ opinion එකට අපේ decision එකට අපේ position එකට support වෙන facts විතරයි අපි ගන්නේ explanation එකක් දෙනවා නම් we usually talk about the implications what happens what will not happen so balanna metana thiya language ek this is an important finding because right why did the writers write like that because they they are explaining the implications me 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 de siddha unahama menna me de thama implication ekak wenne इंपॉर्टंट फिगर्स and if it is expository writing or explaining uh, you are writing to explain something then you are talking about the causes the results the implications what happens the effects of something right so as finance and accounting students you need to use a variety of language styles to accomplish these various purposes but if you are continuing to use the same writing style everywhere you fail to impress your managers you fail to impress your clients you fail to impress people around you right fahadile the hamotama right are there any questions because now we are in the last segment of our discussion the next part is audience analysis right so audience analysis means who is the audience and how do you uh, make sure your audience is clear about what you are saying then isa la pe katha kare mokadda how to identify the purpose and according to the purpose how to change your language hari etokota ogolo onama deyak liyana kota meeta passe පළවෙනි දේ තමයි පර්පස් එක තේරුම් අරගෙන තමන්ගේ ලැංග්වේජ් ලියන ස්ටයිල් එක වෙනස් කරන්න ඕනේ වචන වෙනස් කරන්න ඕනේ දෙන ඉන්ෆර්මේෂන් වෙනස් කරන්න ඕනේ රයිට් සෙකන්ඩ් ස්ටෙප් එක තමයි ඔඩියන්ස් ඇනලිසිස් ඉෆෙක්ටිව් රයිටර්ස් ඇනලයිස් ද නීඩ්ස් ඇන්ඩ් එක්ස්පෙක්ටේෂන්ස් ඔෆ් ද රීඩර්ස් බිෆෝර් දේ බිගින් ටු රයිට් ඕකේ සෝ ස්ටෙප් නම්බර් 2 ඇනලයිස් ද ඔඩියන්ස් සෝ හියර් ඊස් a uh, little uh, checklist if you like for audience analysis you can take a screenshot of this slide and keep it with you so every time you write uh, a document important document use the audience analysis checklist palaveni de mukadda analyze who who are the recipients so if you are writing a report the recipients are the recipients could be your managers or board of directors or it could be shareholders of your company or it can be simply your department head how the kaata the liyanne kiyana kissala hita if you are writing in the exam who are you writing for you are writing for an unseen examiner ne ඒක ගෑනු කෙනෙක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් examiner පිරිමි කෙනෙක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් they can come from various backgrounds so you have to remember that understand what is their knowledge level like say for example in a exam situation if you are writing the business communication paper 
maybe the examiners might not be experts in your field etakota ogole e golanta uttare liyanno ne wenama vidiyakata na but if you are writing uh, answers for your management fine uh, say my management accounting paper etakota boho welata ogolange audience ekak expert kenek ne e subject ekak expert kenek haba business communication liyana kota සමහර වෙලාවට මේ subject එක ගැන expert කෙනෙක් නෙමෙයි English language එක ගැන expert කෙනෙක් විතරයි ඔක බලන්න. දැන් බලන්න එතකොට වෙනසක් නේ. right? so there is a difference between how you write answers to your management accounting paper as opposed to how you should write answers to your business communication paper. why? because the audience is different in these two situations. business communication paper will require you to write for a general audience management accounting or financial accounting paper will require you to write for a expert audience right etokata me deka look wenasak thiyena ne thank you so much keshal i really appreciate uh i i really like i i learn also in the process that's why i really uh, find these things useful to me i have done so many sessions like this and i have personally improved idu man hari asai ogollot man wage me subject ekata godak aadare wenawa na right because it's it really gives you that cutting edge like you can go anywhere in the world and you can use these techniques and people will be so um welcoming to you i have seen this personally when i did my mba i mean i i am not expert like all of you right but i used to get <laughs> the highest marks for most of the papers reason is that my writing skills ar examiners lata therena vidihata uttare liyena nisa thama mata lakudu wedi nathu mama මේ ටෙක්නිකල් ෆැක්ටින් එච්චර හොඳ නැහැ නමුත් මම දන්න ටික හොඳට ලියන්න දන්න නිසා so i really enjoy prepare these sessions for all of you and and thanks a lot for your wonderful thoughts because i know that lot of my ca students um, call me back years after and then they talk about uh, what i have shared with them and also i think um, i always make my sessions unique to all of you me knowledge ekak mama mama hindane me man kiyanne namuth man hitanne me rate wenna tanakin ogolanta laba ganna puluwan kiyala this is uh, it's a very specialized area ne ogolange subject knowledge ekak thiyenno ne me wage session ekak karanne ඉතින් ඒක තියෙන කට්ටිය ගොඩක් රටේ අඩුයි ඉංග්‍රීසිත් පුළුවන් මේකත් පුළුවන් කට්ටිය මම හිතන්නේ ගොඩක් අඩුයි මම දන්න දැන් ඉන්නවා නැත්තේ නැහැ ගොඩක් අය ඉන්නවා නමුත් CAK සහ අනිත් ෆීල්ඩ්ස් වල මම දැකලා තියෙන අඩුයි so i really enjoy doing this because i also learn a lot in the process right so thanks a lot for sharing those wonderful thoughts um, so yeah that's fine and uh, yeah wish you all the very best but i do understand right okay so moving on ita passe then you analyze you identify who the audience is and then you understand um what is the level of their knowledge are they a general knowledge holder or are they a expert knowledge hold holder right what is their age are they older than you younger than you education what are their interests what is their environment right um what is your relationship sometimes uh, what is the attitude right cultural differences because this is really important if you are taking international exams right in international exams you are writing for people examiners who have a very different background to you so how you write changes according to that, right then needs what information does your audience need do you need to provide a lot of information or little information right nah? and then customize how do you adjust your message to your audience what techniques do you use right do you summarize do you paraphrase so there are so many techniques and then finally expectations 
um, what is your audience's expectations? So I have, I'm giving one final activity or to all of you, and then we are done for the day. So example one, the very first paragraph, just read it. Now this time I only want you to tell me, oh, actually I have actually two, uh, yeah, two, two paragraphs. Okay, same thing as we did before. Compare example one with example two, and this time tell me who is the audience, right? For paragraph one or example who is the audience, Par example two, who is the audience? That's the final activity we are doing today. Yeah, so the resource links, uh, yeah, while you are, while you are reading this, let me give you the resource links in the chat itself. Okay, I want all of you to answer, read the paragraph and tell me who is the audience. I will show you the second paragraph as well. And I'm going to share the resource links last time. I shared with you. Everyone, can you still see the slides? I got a message. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, thanks, Tenuko. Right, I'm going to find the links for all of you again. Uh, you can share these with the um, other people also. So uh, actually, finally, just to end the session uh, quickly, I know all of you are tired, right? Uh, so let me thank you for your, uh, okay. let me thank you for your participation as always. And I hope today's session is a very unique one. The main information, um, because this is, customized to finance and management accounting students, right? So this type of session you might might not get from any other place. So you have to appreciate the work done by Augusta's team. Attention sessions I think it's really great. Uh, that they're doing it. So do send them a thank you note also for their efforts. Okay. Uh, remember I gave you, I showed you a video on word classes. So I'm just going to post it on, on the chat. So here is the video for word classes. I'm going to send the other stuff now, okay? Uh, quizzes game that I it didn't work no on the other day but anyway let me but I will anyway send the quizzes game link to you if it doesn't work just don't worry too much okay because sometimes I have to be logged in to uh, activate it just ignore that um, and yeah, make, uh, I don't think the word was, yeah, let me share that also. So check out if the games are working, if they're working, you can play the games again. So this is the um, word ball game, right? Link for that. I'm putting everything on the chat, everyone. Okay, so quickly copy these links, URLs, uh, or share it uh, with uh, the other people. So this is the seminar that I did for uh, A-Levels, the Royal College seminar that talks about a lot of grammar techniques. You can watch that also. This is the link, YouTube link for the seminar, right? And finally, this is, I want you to uh, visit this website, BBC. Okay, hold on, let me show you. Okay, I don't know, I'm just going to call this to the camera. I don't know if you can see this, right? 
let me show it's blurred no mm. it's blurry right you can't see this clear so what i'm trying to show you everyone is um, the mobile phone app uh, from BBC, it's really, really great. I would like all of you to download it. Kamadina, I don't know, right? So this is called, I'm just going to type the name only because obviously I can't send you the link there. If you don't want the mobile app, just go to the BBC Learning English website. Okay, go to BBC News. Go, there's a separate page called BBC Learning English. So that's a really superb site. Just start with that and you will really enjoy. Uh, number one, you can learn a lot about the world around you. Right? And also improve your English because it's from the BBC and their standards are quite good. Then up there, Kanavanang, Honda increase willing a hundred one in it. Neither Muka the internet ticket, dark theanoma, itama, there the increase there. Websites will go dark theanoma, go dark errors. Ekanisa, Mama Kamathina, Vadia, websites recommend Karana, Amuk BBC English, go dark Honda Yogaland. Right? So use all of those resources, start now, and make sure that you are really changing your behavior. And finally, everyone, let me give the answers to you. So paragraph one, uh, sorry, I have to show you para two. This is paragraph two. So I'll give you a minute. You can tell me who the audience is for this example. Okay, so let me save a little time and explain this to you. Um, let's go to paragraph one, right? Example one. So here you will see that now we are talking about the organization plus audience, right? So kota api api writing wala or audience ek theerum katod api language organize karna vidhi e anuva vinas karana pulo. So who is the audience for example <clears throat> one? So this example, if you read it, another difference between, yeah, very good, Johan, good, good answer, right? Um, another difference between IFRS and GAP involves investment property. Under IAS 40, investment property may be accounted for under the fair value model or cost model. Under the former, changes to investment property values are accounted on the income statement, whereas the latter system, it is recognized as costless accumulated depreciation. Then, right? who is the audience for this paragraph? So, it's very, very obvious from the language. Language, you can see the language, May wage paragraph ek ak general audience ek akata kiyola therum ganna ba so eh na meka aniwaryenna expert audience ek akata liyapu paragraph ek yeah sandha very good right expert audience right why because this is very difficult for a general person like me to understand so you are writing this type of language you're organizing your language in this way because you are writing to equal partners right so as an expert you are writing to other experts of the same field so the audience here is obviously expert audience now look at the second example you will see the big the the 
difference here. There's a big difference here, right? Example two says another difference between IFRS and GAAP involves investment property. Under IAS 40, investment property, investment property is defined as mukaddame karanne. Investment property is defined as kila me mukhatte denne. Definition ne kak dena. Investment property kya ne mukhatte kila? Investment property yano kya ne kak dena? Har investment property may be accounted for under fair value model or the cost model. And under the fair value model, changes to fair value value are recognized on the income statement. Under the cost model, within brackets they have only mentioned the difficult job. Right, difficult work. Fair value must be disclosed in notes. Right. Then balanne me lakshana thuna ma pita dekha ganne pulu ang ogo. So who is your audience? The audience you are writing this for has a general knowledge about your subject. So as expert you are writing to a general audience this is the way that you organize your language for normal people right now see the big difference big difference so here you are writing for expert audience here you are writing for a general audience look at the way the language is organized right so what is the summary today i'm going to show you the summary okay give me a second so today we have talked about a lot of important, very specific ideas uh, for managers, sorry, management students, finance students, and accounting students. So finally, what is the summary of today's session, the three-step model for effective writing? First of all, analyze your purpose. Second, analyze your audience. Then Organize and use language in a manner that helps these different audiences and purposes to match with one another. Right? So I hope the session is clear to you. Meet a pass a hammer product make up like a labalan. Whatever you are doing in writing, think about the purpose, think about the audience, think about the organization. So the expert audience Godak jargon ketieng ehmaliyan. Have our example ke penwa mage general audience ka kataliya dawana definitions then known examples then known explanations then known ehmatama ya pe organization ne ka pe karagan known language. So the three step model of effective writing is purpose, audience, and organization. And I hope all of you understand how valuable all of you are and how unique your field is. Finance, management, accounting field is so important for a country's development. Communicate finance professionals communicate So final thoughts for today's session is that remember all of you are a very unique bunch of people. Um, but you need to improve the way you look at language and communication and you need to sharpen your skills because you can produce more and more benefits to the society and the country at large if you do that, right? Okay. So that's it from me for today, everyone. And uh, I hope you remember we have another session on this Friday. And uh, Friday session, I'll be talking to you similarly about your reading skills, right? Okay, so that's it from me. Thank you very much for joining in and do share your thoughts and uh, how you feel about it. And I will see you on Friday. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much, Ms. Chamika, for the wonderful session. As Thanks, explained on, <laughs> yeah. So we look forward to meet you again on Friday. Dear students, please join that session as well, which will be uh, most uh, important for you. So thank you very much for joining. Good night, Augusta. Yes, good, good night, night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Okay, bye.